Third, on May 28th, G4 and Tech TV will become one Uber source for all your gaming and technology needs. You can get more information on the merger by heading to our website at g4techtv.com. Now, one of the benefits of the deal is that we can welcome Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb, the hosts of X-Play, to talk about their E3 experience. Hey guys, welcome along. Thank you so Thank much. You Good to be here. Good. Now you've had a day and a half to check yes. things out. What are you most excited about? Well, the big announcements this year have been the hardware announcements. There have been a lot of handhelds coming out. And the Nintendo DS looks pretty impressive right now. Where the PSP went for one big screen, the DS went for two small screens. And of course, one of them's a touch screen, which is pretty interesting. I mean, I, I, I had a chance to play Metroid with it, and it's, you know, at first it's really awkward because you're turning and you're shooting with the stylus. Yeah. Within a second, suddenly it becomes really, really engaging. It's really exciting, but probably the best is the, the Wi-Fi network attached to it. That's if they awesome. have a game like Animal Crossing, which kind of is a kid's game, but you can play it with your friends and be really hateful and awful, <laughs> with the Wi-Fi, the potential to abuse other people I know are just limitless. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of Nintendo, we saw an update to the Legend of Zelda series. Yes. Yeah. Now Very Link nice. this time's a little bit grittier. He's older. People have been asking a long time for an older Link, and I think they finally kind of wised up to that. I love that he can ride on horses. I'm pretty excited about yeah. that. Horse combat, it's awesome. Yeah, horses are pretty. <laughs> anyway, what I really like about, I mean, what, what, what caught me is that I actually really liked the older Legend of Zelda with the yeah. cartoon look. I, I loved it. Seeing this, I was first I was like, oh no, they really aren't going to keep that look. But then you see a lot of the flavor from the, from, uh, excuse me, uh, well, the last Zelda, I just blanked on the name of that. But it, it has Wind a lot of the character design, and Wind Waker, thank you. It has a lot of the character design that, that you see from that, but with this darker, and obviously, you know, with this amazing poly yeah. count in it. I'm okay. excited about it. Good. Definitely. Now, to yeah. change the subject, okay. EA is bringing out its uh, N64 classic Golden Eye. Yes. To its current clock. So what are your thoughts about that? Well, this is very exciting because you're not playing Bond here. You're playing as one of the bad guys, which is very exciting. You get to play, it's called Rogue, it's, you get to play a rogue agent who's uh, joined the bad side. And that's also got a lot of multiplayer, so fans of the first Bond, I think, are going to be very excited about it. It's fun to be evil, huh? Yeah, it is fun to be evil. <laughs> Now, what's, in, what's, what's interesting about GoldenEye is the fact that they're calling it GoldenEye. I mean, it was so successful on the N64, and when you look at the game, outside of the multiplayer, you're not seeing, you know, it's, it's very different than, than the rest of it. Obviously, it looks different because it looks so much better, but it's not all about sort of the missions and getting the points. It's really about this really neat story with Dr. No and Goldfinger. Well, Adam, Adam, thank you so much for thank coming you along. Much, Greatly Adam. appreciate it. Thanks. Coming up after the break, Activision turns 25 this year, and they're still going strong. We'll show you what they've got this year. Plus, we've got an appointment to see a man with a crowbar. We'll see what Gordon Freeman and his publisher are up to. That's all coming up right here from E3 2004. Houston.